just use highlighter for that part, honestly. Just kidding, don't do that. That's probably not good for your skin. I'm, that's a really bad joke. Because they sit on your right side, and then just imagine their surprise when, at the end of the movie, you're like, here's Kristen! And the adhesive is nice because it just, it never, like, dries completely. I mean, look at this. How is that going to get out of there? There's just so much glitter in my boobs right now. <laughs> my boobs are so glittery right now. <laughs> Alright, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, my opulence, if you're new here. So today, we're going to be doing three avant-garde makeup looks. Couldn't choose which one I wanted to do, so we're going to do them all. This is me. And my friend Leo. We call him Leo because he just won't let go. You just need to calm down. Calm down! This is as good a time as any since I just used this lipstick. It reminded me as if I'd forgotten. But I am entering the NYX Face Awards with this video. If you're here because of the NYX Face Awards in my title, then hello. It's nice to have you. I am a professional... No, nothing professional about this. I just like makeup and I do this in my spare time and I do it for fun. So, you know what? This production value is just what it is. Welcome to my home. So this is basically going to be arts and craft for my face. I'm going to start with a very light base of foundation since I'm doing three looks right now. If you'd like to see a tutorial, I'll link my lightweight foundation coverage down below. Also going to do some brows because what is life without brows? Final thing I'm gonna do for each look is some lashes. I'm not showing you these steps because this is basically just how I apply my foundation. My thought is just kind of do the makeup, the base that you normally like to have, and then uh, go from there. First look I'm gonna do is gonna be my double X look. I bought some really inexpensive a brush kit from Michaels. I think the whole set costs like $10. All the things that you would want. And I'm gonna take uh, this guy because he's very stiff and you can get like brush strokes. I'm gonna take some water. In this case I'm just using like a makeup spray. I'm gonna dip into this a generous coating. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to like do a stroke test. Okay so we're gonna do one on one side and one on the other side. I like to start small. Just keep a light hand, don't go too heavy, and it's also you want to make sure you don't have too much product on here. I think it looks really cool when you put it in the hair, personally. So I'm just going to take a little bit and kind of draw that one line. Okay, got one X, now we're going to put one over here. I'm going to take a neon yellow and we're going to do the other side. The other side is pretty much the same. The only thing I'm going to change a little bit is uh, the placement. I don't want it to be symmetrical. I want it to be a little off balance. It's not a perfect X, which is kind of bothersome, but you know what? We're just rolling with it. So this one's going to be a bit more of a delicate, um, delicate glitter situation. On this side, I'm going to use this very chunky, translucent, pinkish glitter. On this side, this blue glitter. I think they'll complement the colors nicely. I'm also going to be using some glitter adhesive, just in a nice little brush form that I will just kind of apply where I want the glitter. Dip it in and press it on. For the glitter, I am making sure it's like diffused out at the edges and the highest concentration is going to be the middle of the X's. And then we'll do the other side. The adhesive dictates just as much where the glitter goes as where you actually tap it. Like I said, I really focus it here in the center of the X and then just kind of drag it out. I, think it, I like how it looks, honestly. Add something cool to your face when you're, you know, going grocery shopping or walking the dogs, going to the movies. I'm gonna do some faces where I like look really pretty so you can see the look. If I do this, does it make you want to put it on your face. Now I'm gonna go wash this off and I'll be right back. Now we are on to look numero dos. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go in with this bad boy now. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used. I'm going to once again test my hand to make sure I'm getting the kind of 
coverage I want. And we are gonna go like this. I would like really try to push it further into the hairline, but um, we saw what happened last time. As you saw as well, I move my head, not the brush. So that way the brush stays steady and consistent. It's just easier that way, I think. That's it, just kidding, just kidding, that's not it. Then th the rest is just fun. I am gonna start with my glitter adhesive. You gotta be careful, this adhesive specifically, depending on what adhesive you have, it can move the foundation around. So I know it's invisible to you, but I basically have like a triangle here and a triangle that points up there. I definitely want to use this gold one, so I'm gonna start with just one glitter for now. Pour some out. I'm using an eyelash case. So I'm gonna take a sponge and I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of the adhesive to it so that it'll pick up the glitter. Look how fast that is. Talk about expedience. Do you understand what I meant when I said this is like arts and craft for your face? <laughs> but this isn't everyone's childhood dream. I don't know what is. This method of application also makes it, makes less fallout. You're not having as much glitter just literally everywhere. So you can use craft glitters as well, like from Michaels. I mean, that's basically what this is. It's just a mixture of all different sizes and colors and shapes. It's just gorgeous because it, it has so much like color and dimension and just different aspects to it that make it really fun. So I'm kind of being a little bit more sporadic in my placement now because I have my two heavy bits and I want it to have a bit of motion and feeling in it so I'm not trying to get like a really thick layer. kind of feel like someone just took some glitter and like threw it at my face and that's what happened. If you're wearing sunglasses, I'd avoid putting it where your sunglasses would rest just for functionality. I also will kind of pat everything in to make sure all the glitter is like locked down. And that's what we got guys. That is look number two. I think she was just kind of like fun and different and adds a little extra spice without much effort. I honestly have a lot of fun doing looks like this instant gratification as opposed to, you know, looks that can take a bit longer. It just makes a really big difference. And oh my god, I have stuff all over my teeth. What the heck? How long has that been there? It may seem like zero seconds for you because it has been zero seconds, but it's been a full 24 hours for me. I have redone my face and we have put rhinestones in my hair because that just makes me very happy. So for the third and final look, it's going to be a bit messier than my other looks, which is why I didn't want to do it yesterday. I still have like residual glitter in there, but what can you do? I wanted uh, one of these sponges. Mine's currently covered in glitter and fuzz, but... We'll make do. I'm gonna use these two water activated face paints. So I'm gonna start with the lighter color, this teal. Plop the sponge. I'm gonna focus on this side of my head because uh, Leo just needs some attention there. <laughs> you wanna use light touches so it still has the texture in it. If you push too hard, it just gets rid of all the texture that's on the sponge and that's not what we want. Since I'm not doing anything after this, I might as well just cover my hair up a little. I'm gonna take the blue guy, this one, and uh, I am gonna wait for this to dry down a little bit. You can see it's still picking If it's damp, then it'll um, just blend the colors instead of like stamping on top of it. How do you like that highlight though? Does that make you feel happy? It makes me very happy. I'm not gonna cover it up completely. Just gonna add another color in there. There, that's it, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this neon paint. I'm gonna dig into this magic plastic bag of really cheap brushes. I'm gonna take this one. Aw, oh, Leo. You know what, bud? Looks like the earth is on my face. <laughs> I'm gonna swirl my brush so it's fully saturated. Oh, okay. So this, you have to be smart about, okay? Don't be dumb. This is a cannon to your eyeball. And how ever fun it looks right now, as it beelines to your eyeball, I promise that if it were to get in your eyeball, 
it would not be fun. <laughs> it hurts. My goal is to make it look like I got hit twice in the head with a paintball. I was either dumb enough <laughs> to just stand in the same spot <laughs> and have someone shoot me twice, or... <laughs> nope, that's the only option, really. I mean, nothing else. What else could have happened there? Like, you'd think if you got hit once. <laughs> you think if you got hit once, you would have, like, moved. <sighs> Need some more mixing medium. Swirl it and twirl it. Swirl and twirl and swirl. If you can't tell, the technique is kind of fill up your brush and then push it all in one spot very strategically so it drips down like so. That is the technique we use. Do you like that technique there? How I just made it another drip? Okay, if it takes too long, you can always help it just a little. I mean, the only people you're not going to be able to fool is someone who's like a forensic splatter person. <laughs> oh, that, that's, a, that, that's a hot one. That's hot. So I do not like how these are all like the same length up there. It looks very forced and inorganic. Even someone who's not a splatter forensic scientist person would probably be able to be like, wow, she just put drips on her face. So we're gonna risk the eyeball right now, guys. One thing we can do is like cover that there. Kind of make it feel a little less like patterned. Cover that a little there. Look at it go, man. It's on a mission. It's like, I'm gonna hit you in the eyeball and make you cry on camera. Not today, Satan, not today. Okay, I think we're as dry as we're gonna get for now. So just like earlier, yesterday, we're gonna take some, some glitter adhesive. So I'm gonna start by applying the adhesive like largely up here. So just like I did yesterday, I'm gonna take one of these like little spongy, I'm only gonna apply some adhesive on like the edges here. I'm also making sure to apply it on the tip. So I'm gonna use a plethora of glitters. Try some of this clear glitter. It really feels like I actually have like some kind of prosthetic on my face from this like face paint because it's so thick. Like it like moves my skin. The only downside with this application is it may be a bit more pigmented than what you specifically are looking for. I like this, but it is it's definitely gonna be a very like opaque kind of situation. So pretty. And I'm gonna layer on top of that. Now I'm gonna take the chunkiest glitter I have. I'm gonna take this brush, which is the same one I used. It'll give me the precise application I'm looking for. I'm be a little bit more strategic now in where I put the glitter, just because, you know, we're kind of getting to the point where y y you can be. <laughs> Cause I feel fabulous. Yee! Yeah. Like a beacon of light. Let's put something on our lips. Okay, I'm gonna take this NYX. Lip liner in rose. Blush of pink, you know. Nothing too crazy. Just something that has a little bit of tint and shape. I'm gonna take some NYX Cosmetics Fortune Dollar Fortune Cookie Gloss. And here's the third look. So. I hope you guys had fun with this video. Hopefully I broke it down simply enough that you can recreate it at home because I wanted to do something that anyone can do. It doesn't matter what your skill set is, it doesn't matter if you have a lot of fancy products. I had a lot of fun filming this video, it's the first time I've done like a three-in-one sort of situation. Again, this is my entry to the NYX Face Awards. At the end of the day, I just want to have fun, and I want you guys to have fun too while you watch. So, I hope you had fun, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye! <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this look, so, you know, get on that. You can see ish before it gets done.